Welter, chapter, I believe it's 13. Okay, Welter. We hear Rini running down the corridor on her way back from the library. Walter, Walter, she calls out as she enters the room, waving a book. Look here, Walter, it's the same as you. Get your notebook, boy. I got something here to show you. A perplexed Walter searches for his notebook while he crowds around, while we crowd around Rini. She has brought us Pezzettino, the Leo Leone book in which all the characters are configurations of colored squares. The reason for Rini's excitement is clear. The illustrations for Pesatino closely resemble Walter's drawings. His notebook is filled with the same connected boxes, which up to now have not seemed to, ca to him a cause for joy. In fact, he sees them as daily proof that he cannot draw, as well as the others, a burden he needs to his he adds to his generous self doubts as an English speaker. I not can it, he tells me when I ask him to dictate a story or paint a picture. Yet he sits with Rini talking so quietly I cannot hear what they say. He colors in the outline lines of Leo Leone mice she draws for him and listens intently while she reads memorized lines from library books. By contrast, he fends off my suggestions as if I am leading him into a trap. Walter has recently come from Poland. He is fluent in Polish, reading the little books his grandparents sent from Warsaw. Warsaw, and writing his own thank you letters. All of this places him well ahead of most of the children in this kindergarten class, but he does not see it that way. Compared to the confident speakers and mouse painters, he judges himself as inadequate. Pezzettino feels the same way. He is a small orange, squ orange square in a land of towering creatures named after their special squ skills. The one who runs, the flying one, the swimming one, the one on the mountain, and so on. Am I your little piece, he inquires, of each figure, but the responses are evasive, almost accusatory. Am I your little piece, he asks the strong one. How could I be strong if I had a piece missing, was the answer. Finally, the wise one sends Pezzettino to the island of Wham. I still don't understand why it's named Wham. Where he tumbles down a rocky hill and breaks into pieces. Collecting himself, he realizes that he too is made of diverse parts and is not merely a missing piece of someone else. I am myself, he shouted, full of joy. I am more than a bit annoyed by the haughty and sensitive treatment Pezzettino receives. We'll not even try to include the likes of you, his friend seemed to say. We have nothing in common with such a no-talent little square. Aren't they rather unfriendly to Pezzettino, I asked. Couldn't they at least try to find out if he belongs to them in some way? He does belong, Anita says. They're his grown-ups, his family. Sure, Jonathan adds, he can't do all that stuff because he's just a little boy. Rini agrees, the tall one has to be the dad and the mom is the swimming one. The others is relatives of him. Then why are they so mean, I ask, but no one seconds my complaint. The family is not mean, they say. It's that Pezzettino is so little. This is not a peer group story, they are telling me. It is about the weakness of the small child in a world of adults. <sighs> <clears throat> fully developed grown-ups who are self-sufficient and lack nothing. They do not lead little ones to fill in the empty spaces. Do you think I could be wise if I had a little piece missing, answered the wise one. So then, if Walter is Pesatino, it must be the teacher who makes him feel inadequate. He plays checkers with Bruce and runs out do doors with Arnie. He allows Rini to tie a scarf around his head when she needs a prince, and he lets Corey instruct him on how to hold her doll while she's at the sand table. They need him. It is with me that he hesitates and falters. When did I ever properly appreciate Walter Squares? Rini perceives their artistic, artistic integrity, comparing him to Leo Leone. His eye cannot it is heard when the one who teaches comes around. Then he is most like Pezzettino. Leo Leone's skill in portraying the feeling of being less than is remarkable. Pezzettino is every child who has ever walked into a classroom. Do I belong here? Does someone care about me? Perhaps the lonely island Pezzettino is sent to does in fact represent school where children are broken into pieces in order that adults may observe, label, and classify them. And having been so dissected, how does the child become whole again? Do you surprise Leo, Leo, do you suppose Leo Leone was thinking about real children, I suggest, after reading the book again? Maybe even his grandchildren, feeling small and lonely in school? I've been wondering if the island of Wham is something like school. It's a rocky place, Kevin reminds me. How can that be a school? Because where are the teachers? I have known teachers who were like rocks. Nothing could move them or alter their ways. Sometimes that teacher 
has been me. Every path I take these days seems to go inward, to the center of my own memories and regrets. Leo Leone could have put me in his book as the one who remembers, or better yet, the one with missing pieces. Pezzatino is now Walter's book. Rini has willed it so. She and the children draw Walter's squares in their notebooks as if it, as it, it is as if he has asked them, am I a piece of yours? And they have replied, yes, we need you to make us complete. I stand behind Walter watching him draw in his notebook. He is copying an odd looking word over and over until it nearly covers the page. It takes me a few minutes to realize he is printing his name his real name in big letters, W-L-A-D-Y-S-L-A-W. How do you say your name in Polish, I ask? Władysła, he says softly. Władysła, a bit louder the second time. The L is pronounced as wa, wa, and the W as V, so va. Walter has shown the one who teaches a piece of himself. No, he has given me a piece I am missing. So Władysła. La. Vadisla. Vadiswa. Hmm. 